This is Sarah. She fell in love with Violent J, otherwise known as Joe. I rap as one half of the Insane Clown Posse. I do OnlyFans. I was on Instagram flipping through. Every time I saw a hottie, I hit follow. She was like one of my top two favorite hotties. Sarah has always had a preference for older men. I may or may not have daddy issues. Which has caused some to question her intentions with Joe. This guy wrote, freaks of nature and sick if you ask me and is probably fake for publicity. You and your dad look so good together, <laughs> it's disgusting. My friend Rudy is coming over and he's gonna meet Sarah for the first time. Rudy is controversial. He ain't like what she's doing. She does this fans only thing and, you know, showing themselves off to some weirdos. So what's your intentions with my homeboy, man? Like, do you love Joe? Ah. Uh. My name is Sarah Rusi and I'm 30 years old. My name is Violent J and I'm 32. <laughs> no, I'm, kidding. I'm 51. I may or may not have daddy issues. I rap as Violent J, one half of the insane clown posse. We paint our faces, obviously. I think the first time I saw him in the face paint was a little weird for me. I was kind of scared. I don't really mind the face paint now, but I prefer him without the face paint. Everybody always wants to see without it. I don't want to see why, you know? Everybody needs to back off the face paint. This is how I look. I was on Instagram flipping through. And I would see all these hotties. Every time I saw a hottie, I'd hit follow. I was single in my life, you know what I'm saying? I was just looking at hotties all day. She was like one of my top two favorite hotties. Anyway, so one day I sent her an email thing. DM, is that what it is? Yeah. I wasn't even following him, but I saw the blue check mark, and that kind of caught my attention. <laughs> that blue check mark. <laughs> I told him I had a boyfriend. I broke up with my boyfriend. Come on, man. Right. Let's keep it real. The Duke was on his way to town like a 90 megaton freight train. I was like, this is mine now. I just put my claim on it. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, this is my new real estate. I'm moving the f in. So we've gotten a lot of judgment for our relationship. The first time I posted a photo of me and him on Facebook, it got over a thousand comments. A lot of the criticism that we've gotten is because of the age difference and because of who he is. Looking all hot. You look good too, babe. I'm happy for you, Sarah. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, but there's some mean comments. This guy wrote, freaks of nature and sick if you ask me and is probably fake for publicity, get with someone your own age. If this is real, it's disgusting. What the f you hating, Debbie? What do you mean it's disgusting? You do all this for views and clicks. You aren't fooling anybody. Thank you. Well spoken. The words of a poet sound like the wise man on the mountain. You and your dad look so good together. <laughs> and with the lighting, you look like you have matching hair. Yes! Such a heartwarming father-daughter pic. Oh my God, that was brilliant. Daddy's little girl. <laughs> 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 that was funny though, she fried me. Somebody wrote, you love old people. <laughs> they got you pegged, babe. <laughs> Nothing that anybody said made me think that he was a bad guy or anything like that. I've gotten a lot of judgment for my previous relationships when I did the past Love Don't Judges, so I expected that anyway. Well, now you got yourself a clown, so you're doing a lot better. <laughs> yeah. I don't live any anything in my life by what other people are gonna think, you know what I mean? I got nothing to hide. He likes to go to strip clubs. If I mean, I know that he like doesn't go for to hit on the women. I go for the food. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Babe, nothing. Me and the boys, you know, we get out of a concert, it's midnight, we go to strip clubs, that's just where we go. I'm a clown, I'm unconventional, you know, but she's learned to be okay with it, and I'm doing the same. I'm all about OnlyFans, let me be clear about that. A chance to make money, you know, I'm all about it. But when it's your woman, it just gets real suspect. All that direct communication was hard because that's her business though. Joe would prefer that I do something else for a living. Like he said, it's very hard for him. It's asking for a lot, which I can understand. A lot of men probably feel that way, that what they have should be exclusive, and I understand that. But he's been really supportive in a lot of ways. He's always sending me reels for inspiration for what I should do for 
more content. I just well, I don't hook one. up with guys on my OnlyFans, but I do hook up with girls on my OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. You get to go hook up with all the hotties you want, because it's your job, you know? I'm a rock star, so my job is <laughs> hotties too. You know what I'm saying? At least once in a while with you, since this is your whole profession. If you were cooking spare ribs for a profession, you can't throw me a plate once in a while? It's something I'm considering. You know what I mean? I'm very jealous, though. Today, my friend Rudy is coming over. Long, long time friend. He's going to meet Sarah for the first time. Rudy is controversial in every way, shape, or form. That's not always in a good way, though. Let me be honest. He ain't like what she's doing, though. <laughs> He's old school as So the things I've heard about Sarah, she does this fans only thing, showing themselves off to some weirdos somewhere across the United States or around the world. I do know Joe Bruce. When he gives his all, he gives his all 100%. So if he has to give his all to someone else who's showing her all, that's gonna be kind of difficult. I'm just worried that Joe might be flavor of the month. All right, Sarah, uh, I'm finally getting to meet you, which is really cool. Huh? But I sure would like to know something more about you. I've heard about the fans only stuff that you've done. And oh, you've heard about that? What's really going on? Is my homie just flavor of the month or is this like the real deal? No, it's the real deal. I really like him a lot and I hope that we have a long-term relationship. Do you love Joe? Ah. Uh, Man, we ain't on that word up in here. I didn't ask you. Um, we haven't like said that yet. Okay. I mean, but I, I just said, what are your feelings? You got feelings like that? Um, it's not algebra. I have a lot of feelings <laughs> for him. Yeah. Good. Well, that, that means a lot because this is my best friend, man. Mm -hmm. He has feelings and I know his feelings and I just want the best for my friend. He told me, man, what a cool, special girl you are. Oh, real talk. So, bro, man, hey. how are you going to make this work? It's asking a lot of any man. I think she understands that, though. She'll be like, oh, I got some girls meet me in the guest house. But, bro, it's like a, it's a career. It's a job. She hustles every day. She has right. to get up, look for a location, go to get tan, go to get her nails done, her toes did. And the last thing I want to do is meet her and change who she is. I get that. And I most importantly, that. since you're out having sex with all these beautiful women, throw me a bone. <laughs> You know what I'm can saying? Can we get tagged in? That's what, can I get the hot tag? <laughs> what I love most about him, I think, is probably his sense of humor. He's really funny. He makes me laugh. Like, we have a lot of fun when we go out. I think we want to work towards moving in together at some point. She's a little short, stack hottie. Her smile's really dope, you know? There's a lot I love about Sarah. I'm happier, you know? And I ain't got much life left. You know what I'm saying? That's the key. Be happy.